the failure that turned out to be a great success. In the past, we told you about Eliezer ben Yehuda, the reviver of the Hebrew language. Here are some more facts about this remarkable individual. Eliezer was meticulous and somewhat zealous about the language he was reviving. So much so that he spoke with his family members strictly in Hebrew. Interestingly, his son Itamar did not speak at all until he was four years old. However, from the moment he began to speak, it became clear to Eliezer that this new modernized Hebrew had no words that related to the world of children. Therefore, Eliezer created words such as buba for doll, glida for ice cream, ofanaim for bicycle, and many more. Incidentally, it turned out that Itamar's mother would secretly teach him Russian. When Eliezer found this out, he was very angry and this caused a big family crisis. We should mention that at the time, only the Ben Yehuda family was interested in the modern Hebrew language. Other families didn't concern themselves at all with this reviving language. In fact, there were just four families that spoke Hebrew. However, Eliezer persisted and didn't give up and continued to try to convince people to speak Hebrew. Finally, after 20 years of working on modernizing the language, there was a great celebration. Ben Yehuda's wife baked a cake to celebrate the 10th family that took upon itself to speak Hebrew. Hmm, this would seem like a great failure. Just 10 families speaking Hebrew after 20 years of activity? However, when we look further down the line and see what is happening in Israel today, we see that this was in fact a great success. It's a success that no other language has been able to achieve. And all this is thanks to the stubbornness and persistence of Eliezer ben Yehuda.